What is that? Swarm is a good show. Let me look up Swarm. I'm about to look up some of these shows y'all talking about because I'm about to binge some shit next time around. Do I fuck with Ari Aster? If so, his new movie is Bayo the Cow Afraid came out. Bay was afraid. What the fuck? Hold on. I got like 15 minutes. I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to take all these suggestions. Oh my god, ow. Oh, it's blinding light. The new Evil Dead is coming out. I know. I really wish I could have watched that on stream. I would have loved for us to group watch that movie. I would have enjoyed that. I would have I would have saved that for the for the idea for the 24 hour. Could have watched that on the side. Got scared. Everybody could have got some fucking popcorn. I wouldn't have been able to pause the movie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Would have been nice. Can't have nice things on Twitch. Beef. Let me see. Beef. Like Netflix beef? Oh, God. Is this a show about eating people? Two strangers get into a roadway incident that brings chaos into their lives. Okay, we got a mostly Asian cast. It's got to be fire. Comedy drama, psychological drama. I might watch a trailer. I might watch a trailer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, what else? Watch Dave. Let me see. Oh, fuck that. Um, John Wick 4, I have not watched it yet. I'm not really a big fan of the John Wick movies. I ne You know what was funny? I never thought I could get too much action in a movie before I saw John Wick 2. Or it might have been 3. That was the first time I ever watched an, an action movie. I was like, yo, this is actually too much action for me. Like, he had one scene where John Wick was like, I don't know if he was underground or some shit, but he was going through niggas for literally 20 minutes straight. And I was like, yo, I cannot. I can't. Like, even my brain that kind of gets off on some, I, I can't even, like, sit here and be entertained by this for that long. That's crazy. Swarm. You said Swarm. Let me see. Oh, that nip, that, uh, that, that, that Donald Glover one, right? I don't know if this is going to be my taste for real. An obsessed Houston-based fan goes to increasingly violent lengths for her favorite R&B singer. Okay, that kind of might be something different, though. Amazon Swarm and Horror's obsession with obsessed fandom. Oh, that does not... That is not where I thought this show was going. Okay, I might watch it then. Interesting premise. Is the whole season already out? Damn, that's kind of crazy. All right, we might watch Swarm later. Atlanta is top tier. I still haven't watched a single episode of Atlanta. I'm going to be honest with you. Have I watched The Sopranos? Okay. So, I'm going to be honest with you. No. But, I got no retort. I, ha I just haven't watched it. No, I haven't seen it. I know that's, that's hailed as one of the greatest shows, though. It's hailed as one of the greatest. I am going to watch it at some point. I just haven't watched it. Bear? Let me type in my meet the bear or just bear. A young chef from a fine dining world comes home to Chicago to run his family sandwich shop after a heartbreaking death in his family. A world away from what he's used to. Carmi must balance the soul crushing realities of small business ownership, his strong will. All while grappling the impact. Why did they just spoil me just then? I, I like, bro, I'm, I'm, a, I'm like a second and a half into the description and they spoil me how many seasons oh is this a movie is this a movie if, no it's a tv series it's got eight episodes i might tune in who knows you know what show is absolute garbage the shy hmm, what else let me see it's not a spoiler though okay i've watched severance let me see Oh, you know what's crazy? This is the show that I meant to start. This is the show that I meant to start and not Succession. I got this in Severance confused. 
I definitely thought when I started Succession, this was the show that I had in mind. So I just started and kept watching just because. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. Because this is the one that I meant to watch. But I like both. I like Succession too. Um. Okay. So I'm going to screen. I'm going to screenshot all of these. Then you wanted to watch. Yeah, I, 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 I completely missed the mark on which one to type in. Um, did I ever finish you? I never finished you season two. I actually got to finish that. I don't have to, but I will. I'll finish it. I'll finish it soon. I got to finish that. That has been on the bottom of my fucking list for so long because I just did not like the first half of the fourth season. But we'll see. Maybe it'll redeem itself. Who knows? Who knows? Apparently season four sucks dick. I don't know. I'll try to finish it, though. It's trash. I'll try to finish it. I got to at least confirm my opinion. Did you know I watched this show? And you're probably going to laugh at me. I'm about to show you what show I actually watched all the way through. This bitch ass shit. This right here. I actually watched this all the way through. And by the, by the end of the first season, I knew that it was going to be garbage. I just had to see it all the way through to the end. And when I got all the way to the end, I was like, okay. Now I feel okay knowing that I knew this shit was garbage from the very beginning. I don't know why I continued to watch, but goddamn was this shit terrible. Every episode and the acting atrocious. I've never seen something so bad in my life, but I had to see it through. I don't know why. Same thing with this show. I'm about to show you another one and y'all are probably going to disagree with me, but same situation here ass it wasn't as bad as the fosters don't get me wrong but i hated this show too watched it all the way to the end because i knew it was gonna be ass i just knew it is what it is never made it into my top spots because i knew off a few episodes yo these niggas are not gonna do it bro they just they just they just they just, they just keep selling like every fucking episode you can watch it there are good moments in it, but it's just not a good show, in my opinion. My opinion. Form your own. Just watch Narcos. I haven't watched that. Ozark was really good. Ozark started good, but they shit the bed. I don't want to spoil Ozark for anybody. It was a good show. Great premise. They shit the bed on themselves, and it ended fucking crazy. Don't know why, but that's the way it ended. shameless was shameless i still gotta watch uh white lotus i still gotta watch white lotus oscar nominated i don't care if he's oscar nominated bro uh it starts as spring a single father who of six he spends most of his time drinking who takes on the child rearing responsibility due to his mother okay oh okay so he left all that shit to the daughter Is this like Seventh Heaven? I hope it's not like Seventh Heaven. You hear it's wild? Shit, maybe. Hold on. Maybe 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 we'll check out that too. No, it's crazy? Okay. I might I might tune in. Look, I'm all for shows that have like really crazy, wacky, and weird premises. Um I actually, you know, this is another show. Could you put Resident Evil 4 chapters 11 to 12 on YouTube? I mean, they're on stream in the in the post, uh, in the in the in the VOD. If you go back like a few streams, you'll be able to get it. I don't know why the the file doesn't like open on my shit. I think it's my computer. Um, maybe I'll figure out a way to get a different program to edit it. But until then, just watch it on the VOD. Um, am I in the sitcoms? No. I try, but I'm, it could just be me and being like, you know, extremely demented or something's mentally wrong with me, but I don't generally find anything in sitcoms funny. Like it's very rare that I laugh at anything sitcom related. Alice in Borderland. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch Peaky Blinders. There you go. That's one that I haven't, that I haven't started that I hear great things about. Peaky Blinders is one that I have not started that I hear great things about. 
Peaky Blinders. I have to start this. I have to start this. It's just his face that throws me off, but I got to start it. I got to start it. I got to start it. My cousin told me about Dark, but I didn't want to give it a chance. I, I currently watch Succession, but I'm I'm in the beginning of season four. Okay. I'm in the beginning of season four. We will get there. There's a show called Always Sunny. It's always sunny about. Always sunny in Philadelphia. If it's a sitcom, I'm probably not a fan. He's funny, though. Or they cast him in funny roles. He's not that funny, though. Get me to fu get me to find a, a, a 15 seat. No, no, no way. I'm sorry. I can't even know. Uh -uh. Can't even. I, 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 mm. I don't even think I can do it. I'm so jaded when it comes to sitcoms. It's not their fault. Like I said, they could actually be funny and there might just be something wrong with me internally. I don't know. But I just don't laugh at shit like this. I just don't. You should watch American Psycho. It's a movie, but it was a weird concept. I, bro, come on. That's like a ridiculously old classic that I like, but I've seen it like a million and one times. A million and one times. So you didn't like Everybody Hates Chris? When I was a kid, Everybody Hates Chris's main concept to me was like, we're going to be funny through the form of racism and like other kind of stereotypical shit, which isn't a bad thing. It's just how funny is it? Like how much, how much can we push the envelope? And I don't, I really generally don't feel like they pushed it like that far. I know they said a lot of crazy shit. They did. They said a lot of crazy shit. They did. But I don't know. I thought the humor was always at the expense of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was really self-deprecating intentionally. I get it. But I don't know. I liked it, though. I like Everybody Hates Chris. But I didn't laugh at it like that, though. I did like the show, though. What you think of Chappelle's show? Again, I just think that's another case of it being something wrong with me. Because I didn't laugh at really any of the Chappelle shit. However... All the Chappelle shit was beautifully written. The skits and the storyline, like all of that was great. So like, even if I'm not laughing at something, I could just still acknowledge like, this is just written beautifully. Like, this is great. This is written great. Like, I can't say anything about that. Like The Office, another show, The Office actually made me laugh though. Cause niggas really be awkward. So that's funny to me. When shit that like happens, you're not supposed to look at or say nothing about, especially in the workplace. That's just funny as fuck. Awkward is just funny. Office made you cringe. I get it. I understand. But that's real life to me. It's shit that just makes you cringe. The boys? Mm, I haven't watched Daredevil. I haven't watched Daredevil. Have I seen Bel Air? I've seen the... F I don't know why I said it like that. I've seen the first season. I think I watched one episode in the second season. It hasn't been growing on me. Um, I might continue, though. I'll try. My sister said it's getting better, but I don't know. Jury Duty is perfect cringe comedy. I might check it out. We'll see. It's got a better chance of me of getting checked out with less seasons than than this. Oh, this probably might be funny. They got one season out, and that's it. Documentary style. Okay, it's kind of okay. I get it. 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 2007? Only two seasons? Oh nah, all these niggas probably dead. Let me look at let me look at this nigga. He dead. He's still alive. Nice. Are you dead? Fuck! I knew it. Okay, I've seen her recently. Okay, she's still out here. I know for a fact you did. What? That is crazy. Elaine. Y'all old as hell. You're 55? This is too much information for me. This is way too much information for me. You think this is an old jury duty? There's a new one? Nah, not that one. <laughs> you seen power? 
Yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you the list of shows that are black that are horrible that you should stay away from. Power. The Shy. Um. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What's that other one? BMF. There you go. I was just thinking. I, I would not have thought about it. BMF. Oh my God. Shows that are just like not supposed to be funny because they're so terrible. These are the ones that fall in that category. The Shy, Power, BMF. I'll argue that Power tries to stick to some type of narrative, but it's so fucking unrealistic that it's not even funny. Power's going in there. Um, I haven't seen the Wu-Tang show. BMF is it's hilariously bad. It's hilariously bad. I could show you a scene out of BMF and niggas will be like, what the fuck is going on? They, I, I'm not even about to say that. I'm not even about to say that. Tay, appreciate the 11 months. Oh my God, you've been in here almost a year. Oh my God. Empire, yes, that's number four. Empire is number four. I think Empire had a chokehold on everybody when it first dropped. And then a couple episodes into that first season, you realize, oh, this is some bullshit. Whole thing. Black Lightning, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. They did a spinoff. They did multiple spinoffs of Power. All of them trash. Except for Kanan's backstory. Kanan's backstory is okay. Kanan's backstory is okay. So far. It's a little unrealistic, but it's still the better out of everything that I've seen. Gravity Falls. I gotta watch Gravity Falls. I gotta try to watch Gravity Falls. Grownish? Nah. Grownish. I, I never even started to watch Grownish. I saw a few episodes of Black. Well, I didn't see a few episodes. I watched majority of Blackish and knew I wouldn't be a fan of Grownish. Gravity Falls was my shit when it dropped. What is so great about Gravity Falls? I'm not. Don't tell me. I'm gonna just watch it. I gotta like really be dragged into it. Let me see. Cause y'all, y'all just. Not even just y'all. It's just in general. This scene, this is one of those shows. I've seen this character before. This pig. Twins. Spence is in a mysterious town. As the kids help him run the shack, the tourist trap that he owns. Twins try to adapt to the weird surroundings. But since there's something strange about Gravity Falls and begin to unlock its secrets. Cryptic journal that offers insights into the mysteries. He and he uses the desire to vanquish evil to battle the imminent mysteries that surround them on its own would that grab me no on its own would that grab me no but i'm gonna I'm I'm check it out it's only two seasons so it's got to be good shows that know when to end are always the best or shows that end on their highest note those are always the best shows those have the smartest writers the smartest directors they know when to stop i'm i, I trust shows that don't have a lot of seasons oh y'all know what y'all should watch though I don't know if there's shows that I watched that y'all haven't though. Let me think. Um, Top Boy. I didn't think I would like Top Boy like that, but Top Boy actually makes a lot of sense. It's not my favorite show ever, but it makes a lot of sense. I like Top Boy a lot. And the end of that last season was crazy. Top Boy is a, t is a contender for me. Um, Let me think of what else. What else do I watch? What have I seen recently that was great? I don't know. I can't say that. What have I recently watched? Outside of me currently watching Succession, which is fucking great. That's got some of the most layered characters I've ever seen in a show. All these niggas are fucked up. Literally all of them. I got beef pulled up over here, so I'm, I'm going to try to watch it at some point probably watch i'm gonna watch one episode of one of these tonight hopefully white lotus i gotta watch that too i never watched cyberpunk you know what other show i never watched um it was the show with the 3d animation i don't remember the name of it though it was popular in like 2021 i think arcane there you go that arcane i never watched that that's what I mean. They said it was great. I don't know for sure. The Last of Us show. The Last of Us show is good. I have not seen the last episode of the first season yet, though. But I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to watch it at some point. I got caught up into my mind of thinking that I don't need to watch it because I already know what's what's gonna happen. But 
I still need to watch it. Because the episode before that one was great. That was actually amazing. Want to know what camera and microphone I use? I'm starting to get a YouTube channel this summer to make more bread for college. Trying to be like you. Um, This is an RE3. No, this is an RE20. But I'm going to be honest with you. You don't need to get this. This is a $400 microphone. I just got this. This is like my secondary walk around mic. That's actually a little bit like it's it's obviously a, a drop in quality a bit, but I can walk around with this. It's way more fun. I think on my feet better than I do when I'm sitting down and you can probably get the job done the same way. This is only like $50. I think this is only like 50 to $70. So especially if you're in the beginning stages, you can just edit, do some background shit in your editing program. You can make this sound probably amazing. I just don't. But I think it would be worth it to buy a cheaper mic and just play with it in in, in uh in editing. Um as for camera, I got a Sony A6000 or A6100. I don't remember exactly which one I got. And the lens on it is a 16 to 55 2.8 Sony lens, I think. And I the lens was expensive as fuck. The, the lens are always going to be expensive. The body, not so much, but the lens, they they going to cost you a little bit of money. Bro, oh my God. Angel, the sequel spinoff? I watched Buffy when I was a kid. I don't remember much of it, though. But Buffy got me through some hard times. Buffy and Powerpuff Girls. Whenever I was bored watching those shows, just I don't know what it was. It just gave me fulfillment. Oh, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I haven't watched Angel, so I wouldn't know. Um, All American is another show that's complete ass. Sean, you should open a P.O. box for your supporters to send you gifts and collectibles. Why did you spell P.O. box like that? And I do need to open one. Yeah, I do need to open one. I don't have a retort for that. I got to open it at some point. Thoughts on the latest Snowfall? I thought it was great, but my family and I watch Snowfall like together, so I don't watch it by myself. Um, and so somebody said, I think my sister's the one who told me, uh, don't watch the last episode because it ends on a cliffhanger. Wait until next week and watch that one too. So that's what I did. And I was very upset with what they did with teddy's character overall and the decisions that he was making i don't want to spoil too much like if y'all haven't watched the last two episodes but like it just seemed like a lot of shit he wouldn't do to support the narrative because they need to end the show by the time uh the last episode comes out it's just he was propping like the whole show is basically breaking bad i love breaking bad that's my favorite show that's top five um like the whole character of Teddy is basically how fast he gets the job done. He's efficient. He's not emotional with his kills. Like he does the shit that he's supposed to do and gets out the way. And multiple times when he's in front of this nigga to end him, he's doing the absolute fucking most for no reason at all. It's so annoying. Because I'm like, the whole show, he's never done this. He's never been like this. Like, the last couple shows, they just complete Last couple seasons, they just completely fucked up the whole direction of his character and what he's known for. This doesn't make sense. Wire is definitely in my top five. The Wire, Breaking Bad. What would be my top five? The Wire, Breaking Bad. You know what? I don't think I could tell you what my... No, Barry... If Barry ends right, if they do this last season of Barry really well, I don't know if I could put it in my top. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. Barry is a great show, though. I haven't had a single issue with anything that they've done with Barry so far. Um, What is this? What is another one? I can only think of three right now. Nothing else is coming to my mind. I would say Game of Thrones. Look, Game of Thrones and Attack on Titan are in the similar tier for me. But they both fuck up their ending. I'm not going to tell you nothing about what happens in Game of Thrones if you haven't seen it or Attack on Titan if you haven't seen it. But I remember reading the manga for Attack on Titan. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? 
That's what I remember thinking to myself. And they them niggas just started shitting the bed with the writing on Game of Thrones. I don't know why they would do something like that. Yeah, I mean, Succession is a great show. Overall, I think Succession is a great show and it has some of the most layered characters I've ever seen in a show before. Like, there isn't one singular good character in the show at all. Like, at all. You're just going to have times where you root for this character over this character, but at some point, you're going to be rooting for every character at some point. You're just going to be. It's so fucked up the way they write the show, but it's it's great. But it's just and every episode feels like it's eight hours long. I don't know why. It's so much info and shit and content packed into each episode. It's insane. Will I watch any Korean films or drama? Of course. I just got to put more time into doing that. But they've proven themselves to always be great for the most part. This show started so many Disney Illuminati conspiracies. What show? Oh, this Gravity Falls? Damn, still streaming. I left like four hours ago. W streamer. Well, it's easier to stream when you're not talking about shit. Train the Busane? I haven't seen it. I also Sons haven't watched Anarchy Parasite. Pretty solid. I haven't watched Parasite and I haven't watched uh, Train the Busane yet. I've been meaning to watch Parasite. I just, every time I think about watching it, something comes up. I want to watch it so bad. Don't, why would you, you mean the show Avatar The Last Airbender, not the movie, right? Because we talking about the show. That's probably gonna be up there. That'll probably I, I I could I could put that in the top five. Avatar, The Last Airbender. I could put that up there. I could put that up there. I would I would. I mean the animation. I I couldn't even say that they need to reanimate the series or anything. Like everything about that series just it just progresses perfectly. It does. That's a beautiful kids show. This is a great. That's just a great piece of a great piece of content. I tried to watch Scrubs. I didn't didn't do nothing for me the sopranos no i haven't watched the sopranos yet i'm gonna watch that too many layers i have to separate animated shows and live action shows for my top fives too many layers you watch any star wars shows nope not a star wars fan tried to get into it haven't gotten into it i'm in love with barry barry is one of my favorite shows season one episode five of barry hold on I don't want to spoil, but literally I could show you this and it wouldn't be a spoiler at all. You would have zero context for for this show. It's actually hilarious. Let me see. Be like it's it's I think it's episode 5. Was this the one or was it episode was it season 2? No, it was. See, it was season two, episode five. I'm sorry. I could legit show you this. It's not a spoil. There's zero context to this. You watch this and you're like, what the fuck is this show about? Dad? Dad? This is probably the funniest Un most unintentional funniest episode of any show I've ever watched I was crying laughing the first time I saw this shit the, the shit that happened before this had me dying the shit that happened during this and after it had me dying well, girl. no sense at all it was funny as fuck <laughs> for no reason See your relatives? Girl. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. Dog. Little I 
Look, the fish is possessed. Sorry. I'm sorry. Honey? Honey, you okay? You're worried. Okay, listen. I don't know what... I don't know what these things were smoking when they made this episode, when they wrote this. Look at that, she left. Look at the way she runs away. Okay. That's not the end of her character. When she shows up again, it's even funnier because of where you find her. I'm not going to spoil that, though. But she comes back. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm not going to show too much. Just know that after watching that, you still know absolutely fucking nothing about the show. That's the, that's the beautiful part. After watching that little scene, you know absolutely nothing about the show still. You're watching Severance tonight? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to take all of these down. I took everything down. I don't know what I'm gonna have the most likely. Uh, Will you play Dead Space remake? Probably not. I already played the first Dead Space. I don't probably. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. This nigga is in everything. This nigga is, is in you. He's in Succession. He's in this fucking show, apparently. Every time I see a show recently, he's just there as playing the same nigga every time every time i don't know something about him i don't know clearly he's in every fucking show he getting his bag i'm glad i haven't watched white lotus yet but i did write it down a long time ago but i'm gonna I'm watch it i'm gonna watch some of these i'm gonna try to watch some of these okay this is what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna try to watch some of them um it's time for me to go it's 